I go to spaces all the time and you, the door opens and you're like, I would never expect this to be here. You know, you see these like magazines with like some watchmaker's shop in Japan, you know, and they're like the size of this room here and they have a full workshop, like every inch of space is taken up. I was looking yesterday, I have my father's toolboxes from when he was a teenager with my tools in it and like, there's, you know, they'll be good for another 50 years. I love the work of it, you know, it's pretty solitary. Like I can go in there and just work on something and try and do, you know, each cut, each operation to sort of the best I can. The problem with this is in the winter, if I turn this thing on, it might blow the fuse. There we go. Look at that. One of my friends who had been bugging me for a custom frame was like, look, what's it gonna cost to get you set up to make me a frame? And he basically paid me up front, which was enough for me to get my welder and the frame jig. My old shop, you know, was probably three times as big as this, so I had set that up to have a workflow across the room. To do this, it's a lot less space, so I basically went through and I noted which tools I absolutely needed and uh, got rid of everything else. So in here, I didn't really have the luxury of putting things where they need to be. I have one guy, he had his bike stolen, recovered it, got his bike back. You know, so this bike's like a million stories attached to it. Then he gets hit head on in the front end of the frame buckles. He's like, oh man, like this bike, I thought it would have it forever. We have so many stories in common. And I was like, send it back. He sent it back, I chopped the front end off, put a new one on, sent it back to him. And so that's why I'm, uh, you know, I'm gonna pack it up for a little while and reflect a hiatus. You don't get to ride too much when you make bicycles. <laughs> One of the other frame builders told me early on, he said, you might as well ride a lot because you're never going to make any money. And I did not listen to him. I always thought, I'll just make this one more frame and then I'll go out. <laughs> <laughs>